Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome to History Day 2020. And we're going to have our show as we always do. This is not what we planned for. It's not what we worked for, but this is the way it is. I'm impressed with the work you students and you teachers have done to take this from a physical contest that we should be walking around looking at to virtual products. We told you what we needed in the bat of an eye and you just turned around and you just did it. I am so impressed with you. We had very few problems. We usually have 380 to 400 students on campus for the day. This year we have, I think, 276, Judy? Yes. Registered? That's good, because I recognize that some of our students don't have the internet connection to do the work. Some of them do not have access to their, especially their exhibits and stuff, so they just couldn't get it done. That's okay, they'll come back next year. Most of you know that this is my last contest. I'm sad to leave, but at the same time, I leave you with good thoughts, high expectations for the future, and I'll leave you in the very good hands of Dr. Story Matkinron. Dr. Matkinron, say hey and wave. Okay, now, very critical information here. Um, our t-shirts are delayed. We'll give you more information about halfway through this. Okay. If you placed first, second, or third today, you will receive an award check. 150 for first place, 100 for second place, 50 for third place. If you receive a special prize, you will receive a check. To get those checks, you must send us a W-9 tax form. We will send that to you in an email with some other information. You got to get it back to us by next Friday, May 7 or May 8. Anyway, you got to get this back to us so that we can get those checks uh, written up and sent out to you. I want to say thank you to everybody who makes History Day happen. Our teachers, yay, teachers. <laughs> Yay, students, you guys do the hard work, right? Our regional coordinators are usually with us and they'll be watching this afternoon if they're not with us at the moment. And our judges, everybody here has judged somewhere. So thank you guys for making it happen. UCA Department of History, Miss Judy Huff, our contest manager. Hey, Judy. Dr. Wendy Lucas, our department chair. All the Arkansas museums, archives, institutions that support us, support teachers, support students throughout the year. We can't do this without you. We could not have History Day without the University of Central Arkansas that provides a space, that provides administrative support, that provides, yeah, our department provides a chunk of the judges. But people in other departments participate too, and they judge and they help with all sorts of stuff. And okay, now we're going to get to the fun stuff. I'm going to announce three very special people who have received awards, not students, these are your teachers. First, Rebecca Houston. There's Miss Houston. Miss Houston teaches at Pulaski Heights Middle School in Little Rock. She is our junior division, Harry Reednauer, Outstanding Teacher of 2020. Her name has been forwarded to National History Day as a nominee for the National History Day Patricia Bearing Award. And she will receive a check from National History Day for $500. Miss Mary Jocelyn. Sorry, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Hello, everyone. Okay, Miss Jocelyn teaches American history, right, at Alma High School. She is our senior division, Harry Reednauer, Outstanding Teacher of 2020. 
She is the National History Day Arkansas nominee for the Hannah E. McGregor Outstanding Teacher Award, and she will receive a check for $500. Yay, Ms. Jocelyn. And Ms. Jessica McMullen. Hello. <laughs> there, okay. Teaches at West Fork Middle School. She is our Fountain Landreth Outstanding Novice Teacher. Not that she's a novice teacher, but she's not been doing History Day all that long. She will receive a check for $200. That's a result of a donation by an individual and the Arkansas Association of College History Teachers. So yay to our teachers. Now, are you ready? for junior category winners. Okay. I'm going to read this first section right here. As soon as we get to that. Okay, junior individual exhibits. Next screen, please. Third place, Ella Apria. Behind the scenes of the Jewish refugee migration, two different men, two different stories, creating and breaking the same immigration barriers. J. William Junior High School, teacher Ricky Maines. Second place, Allie Thomas. Michael E. DeBakey, MD, bypassing barriers. Pulaski Academy, teacher Aaron Simrel. First place, Tess. Barbarek, flying for freedom, breaking the color barrier in the Air Force, Russellville Junior High School, teacher Amy Mims. And junior group exhibits. And they are third place, Violet Alexander, Ruby Duzon, Hush Hush, the ship designer, Hidden from Society, Pulaski Heights Middle School, teacher Rebecca Houston. Second place, Devin O'Daniel, Alyssa Simmons, Bella Bauer, Jeanette Rankin, the forgotten first woman of Congress, J. William Fulbright Junior High School, teacher Ricky Maines. First place, Ella Wisdom, Ashby Burnett, Izzy Krimwide, Mamie Till, how the opening of a casket broke racial barriers J. William Fulbright, Junior High School, teachers, Reagan Goodman, Ricky Maines. And now for junior documentaries. Ms. Jocelyn will read those. Junior group documentary. Third place, Charlotte Rogers, Celeste Poifair. Haley Snell, Elizabeth Friedman, Breaking Barriers, One Code at a Time, J. William Fulbright, Junior High School, Teachers, Ricky Main, and Jesse Gardner. Second place, Drew Robinson, Avery Lindsay, A Woman's Chance, Long Awaited, Russellville High School, Teacher Amy Mims. First place, Star Surratt and Isaac Surratt. Unsung Heroes, Breaking Barriers with an Unbreakable Code, Butterfield Junior High School. Teacher, Ashley Gillespie. Okay, thank you. Dr. Matt and Ron will read, no. Yes, Dr. Matt and Ron will read the junior performances. Am I in the wrong place? We need junior individual docs. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay, Ms. Johnson, Ms. Johnson, you will read those. Third place, Madeline Partain, Francis Parker, revolutionist, Butterfield Junior High School, teacher Ashley Gillespie. Second place, Isabel Clements. Wilma Rudolph, A Story of Perseverance from Holyoke to Practice Perfection. 
Russellville Junior High School, teacher Amy Mims. First place, Bess Kirby. Margaret Haley, Breaking Barriers in Public Education, Pulaski Heights Middle School, teacher Janet Buford. Now we are ready for junior individual performances. Dr. Matkin Rom? Yes. So, um, junior individual performance, third place is Sarah Parker. The Blind Shall Lead How Dogs Broke the Disability Barrier in America. J. William Fulbright Junior High School, teacher Ricky Maines. Second place, Sadie Sharp. Malala Youssef, Breaking Barriers for Females Wanting an Education. Berryville Middle School, teacher Deline McCoy. And first place, Madeline Fithin, Arkansas's Hattie Carraway, Breaking Barriers for Women in Politics, Russellville Junior High, teacher Amy Mims. Junior group performance. Third place, Callie Kilburn, Courtney Mabry, Braden Reed, and Grant Thomas. The McDonald's Brothers, Sheridan East End Middle School, teacher Olivia Lewis. Second place, Tucker Dowler, Noah Weeks, Nathan Updegraff, and Alex Johnston. Alexander Hamilton, Breaking Through the Barriers of Poverty, Sheridan East End Middle School, teacher Olivia Lewis. And first place, Jackson Davis, Ariana Thomas, Savannah Pascarella, Deborah Dillard, and Bryce Jones, Cup of Controversy, Texarkana North Heights Junior High School, teacher Brooke Harton. Hi. Our contest manager, Ms. Huff, will announce the junior website recipients. Hello there. Junior individual website. Third place, Samuel Prakash, Prakash, sorry, Thurgood Marshall, how an African American lawyer broke the race barrier. J. William Fulbright Junior High School, teacher Ricky Maines. Second place, Stephen Cheshire, 10 days in a madhouse. Nellie Bly, Breaking the Barrier of Mistreatment of the Mentally Ill. Conway Junior High School, teacher Justin McIntyre. And first place, Rohan Singh. Brahmagupta, the jewel of Indian mathematicians inventing the idea of nothing. Washington Junior High School, teacher Deborah Height. Hey, okay. Um, and junior group website. Uh -huh. <laughs> Third place, Kara Sanders, Ashley Rangel, Arkansas's hidden figure, Ray Montague, an African-American woman who proved that race and gender do not define a person's abilities. J. William Fulbright Junior High School, teacher Ricky Maines. Second place, Cameron Hastings, Thomas Foster, Temple Grandin, trailblazing pioneer on the stairway to heaven. Pinnacle View Middle School, teacher Graham Goodlow. First place, Brock, Brock Billingsley and Caleb Quola. Nelson Mandela, breaking the apartheid barrier. Central Junior High School, teacher Darren Vaughn. Okay, and I think Dr. McEnron is going to read our junior historical papers. Yes, yeah, so for third place, we have Riley Needham. The Tuskegee Airmen Breaking Barriers on Two Fronts, Alma Middle School, Teacher Patricia Townsend. Second place, Pragya Chauhan, Curing the Blue, Breaking Barriers in Pediatric Cardiology, Washington Junior High School, Teacher Deborah Height. And first place, James Shin, The Enemy of My Enemy is My Friend, Breaking Barriers with Nixon's Visit to China. Conway Junior High School teacher, Justin McIntyre. Okay. Um, and with the junior division, now we are going to the special prizes. And I have asked Kathleen Pate, many of you know Ms. Pate from the Clinton Library. She is going to announce the first half of our special prizes. 
Say hello. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. There she is. For the History of the Presidency Prize, sponsored by the University of Arkansas, Clinton School of Public Policy. Uh, junior division is Brianna Burke from Russellville. Senior division is Jack Gormley from Conway. In the category of Arkansas History, sponsored by the Butler Center for Arkansas Studies, the division award goes to Kayla Fudge, Barton Junior High, El Dorado, Senior Division, Astrid Rodriguez, Van Buren High School. <laughs> Women's History Prize, sponsored by the Arkansas Women's History Institute, Junior Division, Celeste Poifair, Scarlett Rogers, Haley Snell from Fulbright, Fulbright Junior High, and Senior Division. Helena Rubenstein and Elizabeth Arden, Breaking and Building Barriers in History, Pulaski Academy. And then a special prize uh, this year, Women's Suffrage History. It is the centennial of the 19th Amendment. This is sponsored by the 2020 Women's Vote Centennial Commission. Junior Division is Erica Barbara, William O. Darby, Junior High, and Senior Division is Louise Death Hell, Pulaski Academy. And then we have the Outstanding Use of Family History. This is sponsored by the Joe Higler and James DeLoss Daily History Program. And that award goes to Shelby Whitston, Fulbright Junior High. Okay, thank you, Kathleen. And now I'm going to ask Dr. Charles Chadburn. Charlie, wave and say hi. Charlie. Have we lost Dr. Chadburn? No, it just helps to turn on one's microphone. Okay, yes it does, doesn't it? Dr. Yes, it does. Chadburn came to Lisa, Virginia. He came to Arkansas to judge for us last year. He was coming again, but, but things didn't happen. He is professor of the U.S. Naval War College, and he is an expert National History Day judge. He is going to announce our next three special awards. Thank you very much, Pat. The first award is the Naval History Award presented by the Naval Order of the United States. The Naval Order of the United States was established in 1890 and its primary mission is to encourage research and writing on naval and maritime subjects, including the United States Marine Corps and the United States Coast Guard, and to promote the preservation of historic artifacts and memories of American naval and maritime history. The prize is a $150 cash award and a subscription to Naval History Magazine, published by the United States Naval Institute. And this is being awarded for the first time in the Arkansas History Day competition. And it goes to a senior division paper, John Paul Jones, Scourge of the British Navy, from Yelville Summit High School by William Hurley. And William's teacher was Marilyn Pangol. Congratulations, William. And the second prize I have the privilege to announce is in military history. And the title, we have, there are two awards here in military history, one in senior division, one in junior division. In the junior division, we have a paper, the Tuskegee Airmen, Breaking Barriers on Two Fronts by Riley Needham of Alma Middle School, teacher Tricia Townsend. And in the senior division, also on the Tuskegee Airmen, title of the project, the Tuskegee Airmen Breaking Racial Barriers in History. That's a group website by David Davis Housel and Grant Greathouse of Pulaski Academy, teacher Anthony Simmons. And also, I get the honor to announce a prize 
for Outstanding, Outstanding Maritime History awarded by the National Maritime Historical Society. And in the National, for the National Maritime Historical Society, their mission is to inform all Americans on the rich heritage of the maritime history of our country and the importance of our maritime history, not only in the past, but most importantly, to the future of the nation. And the prize is a $150 cash award and a subscription to their magazine, Sea History. And in the Maritime History Division uh, category, Junior Division, Arkansas's hidden figure, Ray Montague, an African-American woman who proved that race and gender do not define a person's abilities. And that's a group website by Ashley Rangel and Kiara Sanders from Fulbright Junior High and the teacher, Ricky Maines. And in the senior division, the topic is submersibles, a deeper look into their history and applications. A group website by Anish Likala, Rodrigo Suarez, and Lopez Gallo of Bentonville High School, teacher Ricky Maines. Congratulations. Okay, not sure why those names didn't appear there, but um, you've got the names. Before we go into our senior categories, let me point out that most of our special prizes will come with a $100 check per entry, not per student, but per entry. We have a few that are more. The one coverage history prize for senior division is $250. For junior division is $150. The family history prize is $100 for student, but that teacher gets $150 also. The maritime history prize is $150. The naval or Marine Corps history prize is $200 and a subscription to Naval History, which is a cool magazine if you like ships. Okay, on to the Senior Division Awards. And I will read the Awards. So third place, Rocky Lowenthal for Alan Turing, the war hero who broke barriers in life and death, Alaska Academy teacher Rachel Prim. Second place, Nora Rogers, Smashing Barriers, the untold code-breaking story of Elizabeth Fedman, Bentonville High School teacher Ricky Maines. First place, Sarah Mulhern, Giving Students a Voice, Breaking Barriers in Free Speech, Conway Junior High School, Teacher Jennifer Barnett. <laughs> and Senior Group Exhibits. Third place, Caroline McGrath and Maylee Rollins, A Blessing in Disguise, The Spanish Influenza of 1918, Pulaski Academy, Teacher Anthony Simmons. Second place, Anna Wong, Justin Halpin, Evan Welch. Pop Art, Breaking the Barriers of Modernism, Pulaski Academy, Teacher Rachel Prim. First place, Jordan Irwin, Annabelle Simmons, The Panama Canal, Breaking Barriers in Maritime Transportation, Conway Junior High School, Teacher Jennifer Barnett. And our senior documentaries. Uh, Ms. Mangalan? Yes. All right, for third Wait place. And there she's going to read to us, yes. All right. For third place, senior individual documentary, Lila Amnesty, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Breaking Barriers by Creating a Foundation for the Protection and Advancement of Human Rights from Pulaski Academy. Teacher, Rachel Prem. Second place, London Blackwell. Beyond the Fall, Breaking the Political, Economic, and Social Barriers of East and West Berlin. From Alma High School. Teacher, Aaron Mills. First place, Jack Gormley. The Fireside Chats. FDR, Breaking Barriers in Presidential Communication. Conway Junior High School. Teacher, Jennifer Barnett. For senior group documentary, 
third place, Charlotte Cooley, Gabrielle Greenwood, The Enormous Ethical Barriers Broken by Project MK Ultra from Pulaski Academy, teacher Anthony Simmons. Second place, Lindsay Middleton and Lauren Grace Perry, America the Beautiful, The Reimagination of Wonder Woman and Her Feminist Agenda from Pulaski Academy, teacher Angela King. First place, Moira Weed, Grayson Gowing, and Bethany Frazier. Patty McDaniel, Breaking Barriers for Future African Americans in Hollywood. Ozark High School and teacher Jessica Culver. And now our long awaited senior performances. And I think Dr. Matkin Roth is going to read these. For senior individual performances, the third place it goes to Winter Racinos, Breaking the Barrier of Silence, How the Stonewall Riots Gave a Voice to the Oppressed, Alma High School, Teacher Mary Jocelyn. Second place, Caroline Perry, Bob Fosse's Broken Barriers in his overly specific and perfectionistic dance style, Pulaski Academy, Teacher Anthony Simmons. First place goes to Amy Lawrence, Decriminalizing Homosexuality, Peter Wildblood Breaking Barriers, Rogers New Techno Technology High School, teacher Danny Burdess. For senior group performance, third place goes to Johnny Liu, Manuel Lopez, and Cade and Cade Rickes Rick Richeson, the Chinese labor strike of 1867, breaking economic barriers on the transcontinental railroad. Van Buren High School teacher, Teddy McMurray. Second place, Olivia Scroggins, Emma Hall, Carson Dethridge. She said she could and she would, and she did. Nellie Bly, Breaking Barriers for Women, Journalists, and Those with No Voice. Berryville High School, teachers, Aaron Hall and Delene McCoy. First place, Cade Smiley, Riley Willis, Zoe Russell, Florence Howe, Accidental Feminist, Breaking Campus Barriers to Create Women's Studies in the Second Wave, in the Second Feminist Wave of the 20th Century. Conway High West, Teacher William Richardson. Okay, um, before we go on to websites, I need to remind you or tell you that if you haven't ordered your t-shirt tonight at nine o'clock is the deadline. Go to one of the many emails that Ms. Huff sent you. If you have to order it through the Google form order. Email, I can't take it by emails. Are you telling me on the street? I haven't seen you on the street, have I? You have to, if you want a t-shirt, t-shirts are free to teachers and students, put in your order. We will get them to you as soon as they come in. All right. Are we ready for? Um, in your individual websites. Okay. For senior individual websites, third place goes to Natalia Kazat, Rold Admonson, The Race to the South Pole, Pulaski Academy, teacher Rachel Prim. Second place goes to Will Miata, Faster Than Sound, Breaking the Sonic Barrier and Revolutionizing Aviation. Rogers New Technology High School, teacher Todd Sisson. First place goes to John Mark Clements, Louis Pasteur, Breaking Barriers by Cracking Germ Theory. Rogers New Technology High School, teacher Danny Burdess. Senior group websites. Third place goes to Davis, Halsell, Grant, and Grant Greathouse. The Tuskegee Airmen Breaking Racial Barriers in History. Pulaski Academy teacher Anthony Simmons. Second place, Miriam Paré and Annika Mensick. The Scopes Monkey Trial. Pulaski Academy teacher Anthony Simmons. First place goes to Zane Alcibai and William Romaine for Viva La Causa, the Delano Grape Strike, Little Rock Central High School, 
teacher, Alice Sotoli. Okay. Ms. Houston, are you there? Is Rebecca Houston on? I don't think so. Okay. I thought she had joined. Okay, since she has not, I will read our last category, senior historical papers. Third place, Lydia Quinn, Grabbing the Land Barrier, the Construction of the Panama Canal, Conway High School West, teacher William Richardson. Second place, Lydia Lee, What I Know to Be True, Ann Hutchinson, Breaking Barriers in the Case for Religious Independence, Rogers New Tech High School, teacher Danny Burdess. First place, Maya Uadot, Redefining Refugee, How the UNHCR Broke Barriers. Pulaski Academy, teacher Anthony Simmons. Okay, guys. This is it. One final announcement for those who place first or second. Yay, you get to go to nationals from home. <laughs> you have between May 7th, when Ms. Huff gets everybody advanced, to May 22nd to register and upload your entry. Your entry may, will not be handled in the same way it was done for state. Y'all need to be revising it anyway, so go back in. Revise your entry, ask us for help if you need help. Get ready, do the very best that you can. You go to nhd.org to find your instructions and get all your registration information. And that's it next year, April 10, 2021, Communications in History. And hey, Dr. Kathy Gorn says you can start working on that right now. So go get busy and we will see you next year. Bye. Bye everyone.